Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Caregiver and, and Spoonie podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Banderas. And once again, just a quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode of the podcast. And also, again, thank you for all the emails, all the support, all the feedback that I've been receiving. Thanks to you, the podcast is getting better and I really appreciate it. So let's get into today's episode. Now, real quick here, the, um... On today's episode, I wanted to talk about something very important. I was talking to somebody about this the other day, uh, the other day how as Spoonies, we don't like to usually celebrate the small victories. We don't celebrate the small victories because we're always thinking like, oh, I want a, a big victory. I want I wanna almost, not that you're wanting to brag, but it's more like it feels like your ego wants you to brag. Like, hey, I did this. I walked like a, a mile without pain, you know? Like you want to brag about it. Like we don't, we don't, we don't actually, and, and like I said, this is not about you bragging, it's your ego saying like, oh, you need to do something bigger, better. Like you need to put it out there. Everybody needs to see it. But nobody needs to see your victories because like in the example that I just gave, um, you want to walk a mile without pain or without, without stopping. Yes, but in order for you to do that, you have to train yourself. You're not going to be able to walk a mile all of the sudden, like literally when you're in so much pain or when the doctor says like you can't do this. Um, you're going to have to try harder every time, every day. You're going to you're literally going to try it step by step. You're going to take probably like a hundred steps first, a hundred steps first, and then you're going to increase it from that point. But in order for you to get to that a hundred steps, you had to probably deal through pain, uh, through the pain or with the pain. And you made it to the hundred steps. That's a victory. So you have to celebrate little things like that. Like if you go to the doctor and and you actually had a good visit with the doctor, even though the doctor sometimes it's not understanding about your situation. Let's say this time the, the doctor had a good day and they were able to pay attention to you. So that's a victory. And you don't have to celebrate, but you should, you should take it as a victory. You should be like, huh, today was a good day. Today, I was able to talk to my doctor without uh, uh, feeling judged or anything like that. Those are victories that you need to celebrate because if you celebrate the small victories, you're going to be able to keep going. And when you have the the bigger victory, when you have the, the thing that you're chasing that you can actually um, show everybody, you're going to remember that in order for you to get there, you had to go through a lot. That's one of the things that we forget. In order for you to get to the bigger goal, you have to go through a lot. You have to practice. You have to train. You have to literally sometimes go through the pain um, and move on and keep going, like take step by step. And that's a victory that will lead. That those are the small victories that will take you to the bigger victory that you want. And once you get to that bigger victory, then you can move on to the next. And you can use that bigger victory that you reach as you start, as your new starting point. But that's why it's very important to celebrate all the small victories because if, if you don't, if you have like a big goal, like let's say in the, in, in the case that I gave or in the example that I gave, you want to walk a mile without stopping. But you're not going to be able to do it like all of the sudden, like from one day to the next. You're going to have to walk and see where, where you have to stop. And then you're going to have to, the next day you can push yourself even further than that. You know, you, you walk today 100 steps. That's a victory. Tomorrow you walk 105. That's another victory. The next day 120. That's a victory. So, you know, the, in order for you to get to the mile, you have to take steps. And you have to take small steps. And every step is a victory. Especially if you're a spoonie because you you're going to be in pain you're going to doubt yourself you're going to have all these feelings that you want to quit uh, believe me when I started the podcast that's pretty much how it felt but every time I do a, an episode I feel better and I talk better and I see myself talking and expressing myself better and I celebrate those victories those small victories because the bigger victory when I get to the bigger vi victory I'm like I knew I could do it this is why I took the long the 
long way because the long way will teach you everything that you need in order for you to reach that goal that you want. It could be um, getting better financially, getting better or, or becoming better um, health-wise, that you can do a lot of things, but you have to celebrate the small victories. Without celebrating the small victories, you're going to get frustrated. You're not going to see the, the bigger picture that what it takes you to reach that mile. You're just going to be like, oh, I can't reach that mile, so I'm going to quit. But that's not how it should be. You always have to look at the at the small victories. That way, you can actually um, enjoy the process. Because every, anytime that you do you at least with me in this situation, every time I I celebrate the small victory, I learn something. It's like wow, I do have resilience. And like I mentioned in a previous episode. Um, I am actually getting better at speaking because I I I actually practice through a nap and even literally there's a nap to that like I, or there's a nap for that. So I practice through a nap to learn how to actually speak better. So that makes me better in order for me to express myself in the podcast. So that, that those are victories because when I finally realized that I didn't know how to express myself, I didn't know how to talk, I didn't know how to speak, I was like, okay, what do I need to do? Well, I need to practice. I practice with my wife. She she helps me, but I'm like, no, I need better practice. And this app, the one that I'm talking about, um, it's actually a good app, um, and uh, and it has helped me. It has helped me. Like I said, like I said the other in a previous episode, you can look at the first episode of the podcast to now, and you can see how long it has taken me to be able to like be that expressive. And the same thing happens is going to happen to you. Like you have to look back at all those small victories. You have to come up with a plan to reach that mile without stopping, but you don't give up. Don't give up though. Just say, just think that, like I mentioned, you're going to take a hundred steps the first day. The second day, you're going to take 105. And the next day, you're going to take 120. And the next day, you, you're going to keep increasing the intensity. Literally, it's like working out. You're going to increase the intensity every day or whenever you feel comfortable. That. Don't don't push yourself too hard because if you do that, then and, and you don't reach your, your goal, you're going to feel disappointed because you're looking at the bigger goal, not at the small goals that you have to set for yourself so you can reach that bigger goal. And 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 uh, and one of the things that I noticed is that as spoonies or as people in general don't do that. We just like to um, say like, I want to reach that mile without stopping and I'm going to try. And you push your, yourself the first day. On the first day, you push yourself to to do the the mile and then you can't. You can only do like a quarter of a mile without stopping. And then you feel bad. You're like, oh, this isn't for me. And then you quit. Well, if you do that, obviously you're going to feel bad about yourself. And the problem is that if you feel bad about yourself, then... That, oh, unfortunately, that feeling is gonna grow, and then you won't be able to get better. And like I said, this is g and this is for anything in life, anything that you want to achieve. If you want to achieve, for example, you want to battle OCD. That one is hard. I'm battling it myself, so I do one thing. I I count it in fours. Um, I do it four times, and then after four times, I stop. But before I used to do it like 20. So I'm getting better. Like, and, and what I used to do is check the doors to make sure that they're locked. So I used to check it all the time. And, uh, and now I only check it four times. And obviously next time I'm going to try three. And then I'm going to try two. And then I'm going to try once. And then I'm just going to try once at that point. That's how I'm trying to reach that goal. So whatever you want to do, whatever you decide to do, whatever your goal is, take the small steps. Take the long way, literally. Because when you take the long way, the less travel road, you're going to learn how to be resilient. You're not going to quit as, as easy as taking the easy road because the easy road, somebody says, like, oh, this is going to be the easier way, but you don't get to your goal because in this case, you're a spoonie, you might be in pain or you might have other things come up and you're going to feel bad. So that's the that's uh, what, what, uh, what I have 
realize while doing this in my own in my own life is that always take the long road yes it takes time but time we have all the time um, or, i mean we have all the time like literally we have time if you feel like you don't have time to take the the long road you should ask yourself like how come i don't have time you will find the answer within yourself because sometimes and i've done this so many times we put it, we give excuses and by giving excuses we pretty much put doubt on ourselves when you when you say like uh, today's too hard, like I'm in pain, and then you're going to have this little voice in your head saying like, it's not about the pain, it's because you can't do it. You might have something like that. You might have a feeling that, that will come up that will say something like that on my, on my, make you feel like that. But guess what? You can actually stop that. And if you do it slowly and you celebrate that small victory, you're going to be able to reach your bigger goal. It, and like I have mentioned, this is, this is for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a spoonie, whatever you want to do. It, it could be in regards to school, to being healthy, to helping somebody else, to uh, running a marathon, whatever. Always take the, the, the long road. Take time to learn in the process and enjoy it. Uh, because like I said, when you when you enjoy this process, when you take the long road, um, you're going to learn more about yourself. You're going to be able to uh, improve yourself every day. You're going to be able to figure out where what went wrong. You're going to be able to say like, okay, I can do up to this point. This is going to be my new start, uh, starting point. And if I ever fall all the way to the beginning, I know that I can reach at least, at least that starting point again. Like your 100 steps or your 200 steps or, or whatever, however many steps or your quarter of a mile. Now, you know, you can reach that. And if you have reached that already, then celebrate it. If the doctor tells you you're doing great, your pain is uh, under control. Like if you ever, if you are able to uh, get your illness under control, whatever health challenge you're facing, and you're able to um, get it under control, let's say by changing your habits, um, by changing your nutrition, by exercising, by doing everything that you should be doing, and it helps you every day, celebrate that. Because that takes a lot of effort, to be honest, especially, especially when you have to change your nutrition, when you have to change everything you eat. Like I've been trying to change uh, the way that I eat. Like I've, I've been eating less candy and it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It is the hardest thing. But every time I don't eat candy, I celebrate because I'm like, I'm doing good. This is for my own good. This is for me so I can take care of my wife in a better way. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, um, about celebrating the small victories. I hope you start celebrating the small victories because it is it is the fe the best feeling to know that you can do small things and those small things lead to the bigger thing that you want to do, you know? It could be um, getting better so you can uh, spend more time with your wife, your husband, your kids, your family, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter if you're a spoonie or, or you're not a spoonie. Like I said, this is for everybody. You can do it. I know you can. And the reason why I say that I know you can is because I've been able to do it. And you have you have seen my my story. Like I have posted it on Facebook. I, there's the blog about it. I had a messed up story. My sir, I, my circumstances growing up were fucked up. Let's just say like they were messed up. So I I decided to change. I decided to start celebrating the small victories, and I was able to change my circumstances from bad to good. So I'm changing the the my my, my habits. I'm changing my my views. I'm changing a lot of things, uh, little by little, and that has shown me also that my childhood. Um, turn me into a survivor. So I know that I'm going to be able to reach my goal, which my goal is in this situation is to, like I said before, I'm going to create 
a, a, a foundation or an organization that's going to be able to help people, especially Spoonies, but it's going to be for everybody. We're going to be able to first help people understand mental health. We're going to be able to um, help with this issue because it's becoming, it's going to become the next pandemic. So we want to start early with this and I'm going to reach that goal because I know that I'm taking small steps at the time. I'm not rushing. I'm taking small steps and obviously um, I will be able to do this with your help. Sorry, my mouth is dry. Uh, I will be able to do this with your help and that's why I, la I love doing this. I love um, learning. I love um, uh, doing things to help me improve myself so I can help with the podcast and things like that. And, and pretty much, um, I, I just want to say like, enjoy the small victories. You will see the change. You will see the change. I can guarantee you that. And I, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the podcast and the, and the episodes. And like I said before, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, you can comment, you can, uh, share it. You can send me your story anonymously at the caregiver and uh, gmail.com you can provide any feedback that you want you can we can chat on facebook we can chat on the email uh, however you want you can always send me an email and uh and i'll leave you with this like always like always take care of yourself and have a good day or as always take care of yourself and have a good day <laughs>